Hi everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to create embossed and debossed text in Procreate. If you will enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment. Let's start with creating new canvas. And for this illustration I will pick A4 canvas from Procreate. First we are going to change the background color. I've made this little color palette, if you want you can download it, link will be in the description box. Or you can take a screenshot now or from my Instagram stories and use it to sample the colors. The background color will be this dark blue one. Let's tap on the layers again to finish with the background. Now we are going to pick color for the text. It will be this light blue color. Now let's go to the actions menu and in the add section we will pick add text. Let's write our first word. And now we can tap on it to select it and here we can open more options for this text. I'm going to change the font to Hoofler text. The style will be black and here I will change the size of this text. I will use these tracking options to spread the letters out. Ok, let's tap on done. And now I'll use the arrow tool to move this to the middle of the canvas. Now let's add another word. So we have to go to the actions menu and pick add text. Let's write the text and then use similar settings like in the first word. Ok, let's move it down and to the middle of the canvas. When we open the layers, these two layers are text layers. We want to rasterize them, so let's tap on it and pick rasterize. Now they are just normal layers and we can draw on them. Let's move this create layer to the top. This word will be embossed and the word art will be debossed. To make those effects more visible, first we are going to transform these words so they will be in a perspective. Let's swipe the art layer to the right to have both layers selected. Now we'll use the arrow tool. Here at the bottom we'll pick distort option and now we can transform it like this. Let's change this here to a uniform option and make the text bigger. Ok, this is in good position now, so let's tap on the arrow tool to finish using it. First we are going to emboss the word create. So let's open the layers and tap on the layer with this word. Let's swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Tap on the layer under and we'll use arrow tool to move it to create the 3D effect. At the bottom we want to have uniform option selected and let's turn off the snapping. Now we are going to move it down and left just a little bit. This will be enough. Let's pick a brush, set it to monoline from calligraphy. Now let's zoom in and we want to connect those edges here. Let's do it everywhere where we see that it's needed. Ok, now we can open the layers and tap on the top layer and here pick Merge Down to merge those layers together. To make this text look like it's embossed, we have to add some light and shadow to its edges. Of course we could draw them, but to make it more precise we are going to use the selection tool. Set it to automatic and now select everything outside of the text. Make sure to select those middle parts too. With this being selected, open the layers and create a new layer. Now let's pick a new color, this light one, and now go back to the layers, tap on that new layer, and here pick fill layer. Now we want to tap on this layer again and pick clipping mask. So now it's clipped the layer with the word create, and we can't see it, but let's use the arrow tool and move it down and to the left just a little bit. Now we can see it and this will be our light side. Let's zoom in and here we have to draw in few places so it will be more precise. Let's do it everywhere.
to make it nicer and more natural looking, we are going to add some blur to it. So let's go to the adjustments and pick Gaussian Blur, Layer, and now swipe your pencil on the screen to adjust the blur size. Let's make it 3.3%. Now we have to do the same thing and create the shadow side for those letters. So let's tap on the layer with the word and again use the selection tool to select everything outside of those letters. Now open the layers and create a new layer. Let's change the color to this dark grey one. Now go back to the layers and pick fill layer. Also, as you can see, this layer is already set as clipping mask. So now we can just use the arrow tool and move it to the top and right. Now let's pick the brush tool and fix it a little bit. Once this is done, we can go to the adjustments and pick Gaussian Blur and add it in the same size as before, so 3.3%. So I hope you can see that this text already looks embossed. Let's make it even better and add a casted shadow. In the layers, let's tap on the layer with the word and swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Now tap on the layer underneath it, tap again and pick Select. Everything on this layer is selected, now we can open the layers again and tap on this layer and pick Fill Layer. Now that text is in our grey color, let's use the arrow tool to move it down and to the left. Just a little bit. Ok, this is finished. Now we are going to make the art world look like it's debossed. Let's tap on this layer, this process is a little bit more complicated but I hope I can explain it well. To make this tag debossed, we are going to emboss the outside of it. To do that, let's use the selection tool and select everything outside of this text. We are going to create a new layer. And let's pick another color. Let's pick something that will contrast well, so it's easier to see what we are doing. Maybe this orange color. Now let's go back to the layers and tap on this layer and pick Fill Layer. As before, we are going to duplicate this layer. Pick the layer at the bottom and move it down and to the left to create a 3D effect. Ok, now let's use the brush tool to fix the corners. Now we can open the layers and tap on the top one and use Merge Down option. Ok, like I said before, we will emboss this. So let's use Selection tool and select the letters. Now let's open the layers and create a new layer. Go to the colors and pick the dark grey color. Back to the layers, tap on the layer and pick Fill Layer. Let's tap on it again and pick Clipping Mask. Now we have to move it a little bit to the top and right. Let's fix the edges where we have to. Ok, and he will use the Gaussian Blur like before. And it should be the same size too, so 3.3%. Now let's do the same thing to add the light to this layer. So let's tap on the layer of the text and use the selection tool to select the text. Now create a new layer and change the color to the light one. Go back to the layers and tap on the layer and pick fill layer. This layer is already a clipping mask, so we can go to the arrow tool and move it down and to the left. Let's add the Gaussian Blur. The blur size is the same, so 3.3%. I don't like how the shadow looks in few places, so I will go to the layers and pick the layer of the shadow. And with the eraser set to soft brush, I'm going to raise it in those places. Ok, 
Okay, we're almost done. Let's still add the casted shadow. In the layers, we're going to select the orange layer and duplicate it. Let's get our dark gray color. And back in the layers, tap on the layer and pick select. Go back to the layers and pick fill layer. Now we have to tap on it again and set it to clipping mask. Let's use the arrow tool to move it a little bit down and to the left. Here I added a Gaussian blur to the shadow, but I shouldn't have since I didn't do it to the create word. But anyways, the next step is to change that orange color to the proper blue one. Let's open the layers and tap on that orange layer, pick select, then go to the colors and pick the first blue color. Then go back to the layers and tap on the layer and pick fill layer. So this is how it looks now. We can still add the paper texture to this illustration. Let's tap on the top layer and now go to the actions menu and we are going to insert the picture with a paper texture. You can download them for free, link will be in the description box. Now let's rotate it and use the arrow tool to transform it, so it's in the same direction as our text. So I'm going to use here the distort option and transform it. Ok, let's go to the layers and tap on that end letter here and change the blending mode to multiply. Let's turn down the opacity to 32% and this is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to share your work with me, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!